presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Alan Homosasa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Uh, isn't it wonderful? This gentleman here with the gold report, right before the market fell apart, ended up with PAAS. We had a 98% gain in a year. And, uh, I mean, you weren't 99% proof like Irish whiskey, but we had a good gain there. He always told us to do what we feel comfortable with. And if I lose a little bit of money on the table, I will, but I know that I just pocketed eight or $9,000 in two weeks. That's a beautiful thing, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions. Learn to ask questions. It's always better to ask questions than to make assumptions. Have the courage to ask questions to you as clear as you can be. Once you hear the answer to that question, you won't have to make the assumption because you will know the truth. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 540, NASDAQ up 291, S&P's up 80. Gold, gold contract up $2.10 trading at 1998 an ounce. We have silver up 12 cents, $25.20 20 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 49 cents. $74.79 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10-year note, down 25 ticks, trading 114.24. The 30-year up a full point, plus 10 ticks at 130.13 in King Dollar. King Dollar right now, I just rearranged these. There we go. Uh, up 19 ticks at 101.487. The euro is at, where did I put the euro? What did you do to me here? Uh, the euro is at 110. The uh, Yen is at the 133, and the British pound is at 124 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What, what do you have? Well, first off, indice-wise, folks, the Nasdaq's up 2.48%. The uh, S&Ps, 1.9%, and the Dow Industrial's 1.6%. We get over and we take a look at the SPY. You're going up on light volume, so bottom line, we'll see where this shakes out. This afternoon, we get some more earnings, but this is all about the dollar still. I mean, this is, well, it's all, it's, you had some earnings. We'll go into them too, but the bottom line, you can see what's happening out here. You, right now, you only have 58 million shares traded. Even yesterday, which was a, a somewhat of a contraction from the day before, we had 80 million. The day prior to that, you had 97, and you're going into 101 million shares. So that's telling me that you still got a down market. We go into the Qs. The Qs want to go hit that uh, that swing up there. The Qs right now, bottom line, they they're going to have some volume. Well, they have 42 million right now. We came down with 57, so they'll do 57. And the swing up here only has what is that? That is only at 45. So that's going to get up there. We go to the gold contract. We take a look at the gold contract. There's been a sideways move with the gold contract, but you still have volume, which is good. We have 194,000 contracts. It rejected 1982, you're at 1998 right now. Now, what should have happened with gold is that gold should have went a lot higher today. The reason being is that if we go over to the dollar index, what you're gonna see here is that that good old dollar index couldn't hold price today. And that's why you can see this market getting a, a monster move higher. We take a look at the dollar, what you're gonna see out here is that yesterday, bottom line, it gave it up on price. Today, it got to a price point of 101,802, and now you're at 101,487. So it's, it's basically, you, you can't hold price, man. If you can't hold price, that's saying it's gonna go down and try to test the lows once again, which you can see what happens. It gives the market huge relief. We go into the NDX 100 and take a look at the strength versus the weakness. There she is. So you got Meta up 15%, you got Lucent up 12%, Comcast is up 10%, uh, taken away from it. Align Technologies is off 10%. What is this one? 
Oh, Keurig, Dr. Pepper. That's off uh, 4.5%. Aluminum is off 3.3%. 3 and microchip technology is off 2.9%. We go into the Dow Industrials. We take a look at the strength and weakness versus the Dow Industrials point-wise. You get, uh, let's see, Microsoft's putting, six, well, first off, there's only two negative stocks inside the Dow. Caterpillar's putting a minus 13 points. Yeah, that's about it, basically. Uh, Strength-wise, you get uh, Microsoft putting a positive 61, Honeywell 48, United Health 46. And let's go over to Amazon, because I believe Amazon's going to be coming out with numbers after the close today. Amazon, the low is 81, the high is 146. You're trading in 109. Now, remember, Amazon had this high-volume spike that it's going after. Now, that being said, it looks to me... Yeah, so what, check this out. Amazon's going to be an ABC up. Now, watch this. This is kind of cool, actually. So the B point, it's taking the B point out today. That's 109. Your A. So we got a 12.A to B. That's going to give you 119. So that's saying that Amazon's going to come out with good numbers. 119 to swing. High volume swing is 114. You know, so we'll see how this shakes out. You know, that that's, uh, let me pull this back a little bit more. I'm just curious as to what this would be. Take a look at this. Yeah, well, it, it won't be a larger ABC up but um, on the weekly. But the bottom line, it looks to me like Amazon's going to come up with decent numbers. Uh, revenue, this is what they're going to be looking for on Amazon. They're going to be looking for to do $124 billion to the top line, uh, 21 cents to the bottom line. They're still growing by leaps and bounds. I mean, in the United States, you're growing by, well, North America, you're growing by 7% a year. Internationally, you're growing by 5.5% a year. Web services are growing by 10% a year. Monster numbers, man. That's, these, these, there's no doubt that those are monster numbers. Some of the higher volume equities out here. Now, the mind blower, no doubt, is going to be the aspect that you're going to be higher and you have a contraction of volume on many equities. Tesla's up $6 right now. You got, uh, let me see, what is VZ? It looked to me like VZ, Verizon was moving too. Is that, no, VZ. Yeah, I guess it's got some moving. It must have come up with numbers. Now, that's a, that's a difference than Marbell. That's interesting. Okay, so. Yeah, no, that's just, that's just moving, man. That's, that's the bottom line. That's just moving out here. Um, Apple. Let's go take a look at Apple out here. Yeah, Apple, Apple's, you know, Apple's struggling. You know, in a day like today, you know, you're, you're at the, you're getting over this high of the one, you did 168.10, the high is 168.16. And it doesn't look like you're going to get that 47 million that you need. So that's intriguing, especially when you get a day that you've had the markets up so dramatically, folks. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. 
Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up uh, 543. You get the Nasdaq up 291. S&Ps are up 80. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Tim Ord, as we do each and every Thursday at 20 past the hour. And you can reach Tim, folks, every trading day at Ord-Oracle.com. That's Ord-Oracle.com. Tim Ord, you got your rally How you here. Doing? Yeah, how's, how's, how's things going out there? Things um, are going good, man. Uh, you know, I mean... You know, it, it's so intriguing, Tim, because, you know, I got you on last week. The market was, you know, drifting lower, dr lower the last couple of days. But this is quite a rally, right? Yeah, actually, we, we can skip right to uh, that part. You know, instead of um, chart one, we can go to actually chart two and kind of um, actually this is uh, the old Weisskopf method. Oh. Um if you go to chart two, that's uh, the uh, SPY there. Okay. And I got, on the volume charts, I got two uh, red circles around um, some volume there. Yeah. So the first red circle is uh, March 6th. Okay. And and that was a high that day. It was March 6th. Market fell back down. Then market came back up on March 26th is the second circle. And if you notice, it jumped above the previous high of March 6th, and it's kind of hard to tell, but it basically uh, I'm trying to point out that volume was much higher on March 26th when you jumped above the March 6th high, and uh, that's, you know, Weisskopf method, that's jumping the creek, I guess you might say. So if once you have a, a sign of strength, I guess, through a previous high, then the previous highs become support. Uh, so uh, 
I drew a, a light pink area area across that line or where that was. So we we jumped above a previous high. Now previous high has become support. And we came back down, and I uh, sent you this chart early yesterday morning, so it yes. doesn't show really what the close was, or what's doing it today. But we went right smack into that area, and what I didn't have on this chart, I do have it. Uh, the day before, before uh, today's what Thursday. It'd be Tuesday's close. We had trend close of one point three five, uh, which is marked there, and we have a tick close of five hundred and seventeen down tick readings. I've done quite a bit of stuff with ticks and trend over the years. When you get a trend reading usually above one point two and a, a tick close below minus two hundred, there's a high probability you're going to make a low the same day as those readings do us too. Is to as late as two days later. Well, it turns out that low was yesterday, pretty much right on target. And you always want, I always call those readings above 1.2 on the trend and a down tick reading below minus 200 panic readings. And panic always shows up at bottoms. And if you don't have panic readings, it's not a bottom. Well, that panic should have showed up right where that jump the creek uh, light pink area is. And sure enough, it did right smack where it's supposed to. So, and, and that's uh, interesting because we really rally to start. I don't know it's going to start today or tomorrow, but it came right in on target where it's supposed to. And we really didn't, weren't so, down that much, right? We only just we only came back to that area, so that's intriguing, right? That we actually got a minus two hundred tick, right? Well, that's the minimum. This one we had uh, on. Uh, Two days ago was 517 on the close. Right. Okay. Oh, had, oh, oh, I got yeah, it. I got it. You're talking about the close. Okay. I get it. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You have to. You have to do the close. That's when. Whenever I bails out on the close, that's usually a good sign, kind of an exhaustion sign. So if you're bullish, you kind of want to see that. Kind of people just give up and and I, I guess puke their lungs, or whatever. And that tick on the close kind of shows that. So everybody was kind of barfing on the close on that day. Uh, then yesterday the market's down a little bit, but but volume dropped off. We also noticed that day on volume, so t this would be Tuesday's trading. Really, you had kind of a selling climax, which I pointed out there. As selling climax is usually when volume jumps about thirty percent or more. For the, the higher percentage jump in volume, the more climatic that move is. And if you get up around thirty percent or thereabouts, it's usually kind of an exhaust move to the downside, and that usually works pretty well to the upside and downside. So Tuesday of this week, he kind of had an exhaustion move. He had a panic trend reading close, and he had a panic tick reading close. And you're coming right smack into support. So he had quite a bit of evidence that the market was probably going to make a low uh, right around that 405 area. Uh, so it worked out. Luckily, in my favor, and so it I, I kept long. I've been long for <laughs> yeah. a while. That's pretty intense. So, yeah, so it's, it's working out. Now we're getting a, a decent sign of strength off of that, you know, and um, it's, it's hard to say how high is high, but uh, if we got time, we can jump to that chart three. No, we definitely. I, I'm gonna. We're gonna do the next segment too. Is that cool, Tim? I, I just. Yeah. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna go. Yeah, oh yeah, uh, we can do that. Can we stay well, on we this one for a second? About this chart, if you want. Have yeah, questions about it. Yeah, I do. So, okay, when you have something like this, right? You know, because this is only a shot pullback anyway, right? So, right. When you have something like this, is this something that you think that you're going to have a a bullish scenario for a couple weeks, a couple months? You know, what what is what is the number on this thing? No, I'm not. You, you, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking what this whole thing is. If you if you look at the bigger charts. Um, I should have threw over a monthly chart, but the, basically we've been in trading range since last May. Yes, we, we have. Bang around right. the trading range, and that uh, top of that trading range on the monthly chart is around four hundred five, four ten on the SPYs. Okay, and I'm thinking we're building cause. I guess you might, you know, we're building a trading range that either break up or break down. Okay, and my, my work says we're probably going to go. If you measure the top of that trading range to the bottom of that trading range, I forgot what the number is, but you know, you come out with a figure that points you back to 470. Well, 470 happens to be the January 2022 high, and uh, that's probably where we're going to go. Are we going to break above that 470? Um, don't know. That's too far yeah, so ahead. That's it. So I, I see what you're saying. I'm mocking up another spy chart as we're doing this, Tim. So I see what you're saying that 
This consolidation, there's no doubt, has been going on for a long time. And yes, uh, I, I get what you're saying here. You, so it'd be like the 417 where you jump the creek again, right? And then that's like, okay, right. you, exactly. Okay, cool. I see that. I just mocked it up for you. Interesting. Okay. Right. Well, if you, if you do it monthly, it looks closer. To, if you kind of just take the closes, it comes in around uh, four. 405, 410 area. Okay, uh, one second. I'm doing that too. Yep, I see it. So I'm thinking 405, 410 is closer. Okay, cool. Two. Stay right, Tim, Two. stay right there. We're coming right back, folks. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Get on there, Mr. Tim Ord. You can reach Tim at ord-oracle.com. Tim and I are coming right back, folks. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 524. NASDAQ's up 289. SPs are up 79. We're talking with our man, Mr. Tim Hord. And stay tuned, folks, because our man, Mr. Tim Hord, is going to be uh, doing a workshop for us uh, pretty soon. And uh, Tim Ord, uh, should want to go to the next shot right now? Yeah, but we can. We, yeah, we can uh, do. Uh, we'll, we'll stay on the S and P's for right now. Okay. Um, the only reason I'm bringing this up, I'm not putting the, hor uh, the horse before the cart. But if the market, you can see where the trading range. This is a weekly chart of the uh, S P X. Yep, and and it goes all the way back to, to uh, 2019, and 
So basically, you can see the trading range we've been in since last May. We kind of just flipped sideways here. Yes. And we're at, I, I, we got, I drew a kind of a, a yeah, you're right, about a two four seventeen, or about uh, 4170, I guess, on the SPYs is where a trend line lies. That's, my opinion, is kind of a neckline right there. Okay. And uh, my opinion, we're going to jump through that neckline. Right. Probably with a sign of strength. Because we're, we're going to break out. The only reason why I say that, is to go to the uh, um, second chart up from the bottom. Okay. Which is I the see SPX VIX ratio. Okay. If you notice, uh, the, the market pretty much has kind of traded sideways since uh, uh, looks like about February. If you notice, the SPX uh, or SPX VX ratio made a higher high. Uh, you see that little trend line right there? Yes, I do. And so, okay, so in order for, if that's still making higher highs, a lot of times that'll lead the SPX. And it'll make a higher high. What you don't want to see is if uh, this market starts to rally and say we break above the, um, just round off number 4,100 on the um, SPX, and you, you rally higher, and that ratio makes a lower high. But, that's when you get trouble. In other words, the VIX is starting to go up as the S&Ps are going up. And that's a bearish sign for the market. It, I do this on a weekly time frame because... Can, can you just run through that again for us, Tim? Because I had the wrong chart up. Just on the SPX and the, and the VIX. I got it up right now. All right. So when the, SP, when the SPX is going up and the VIX is going up, that's a bearish sign. Yes. And so on a daily chart, you get a lot of whipped out. Uh, you get too many whipsaws to really get an accurate reading what's going on. So I flipped to a weekly chart. Okay. That's the reason why I use a weekly chart. It kind of smooths out all that stuff, and you don't get these all these false signals. Yes. But if you go back in time and look what happened in the past, if you look at the 2020 area. Okay. Or area, uh, yeah, 20, we had that big uh, crash in, in yes. March of 2020. I see it, yeah. Well, the S&Ps were making higher highs. It's kind of hard to see, but if you look at the ratio, which is the next chart below the SPX, it made a, it made a much lower high. Right. And that was your warning sign that the market wasn't going to go up. And that same thing happened back in, uh, it looks like about December, January, or December of 2021, January 2022. Same thing happened. You made all-time highs in January. Okay. But if you look at the ratio, it made a lower high. And if you can see that. I can. No, I can see it. We can see that pretty clearly. Right. right. Yeah. So here, we're, we're still making higher highs, even though the S&P is making higher highs. So we may rally. What I'm thinking is if we do get back to the old highs up, up around that uh, 4770 area, which is basically the January 2022 high, and we see a divergence on the weekly time frames where the S&Ps are making higher highs, and the ratio has made a lower high. And I think I bet that happens at the old highs. Okay. Which is up around 470, which is a long ways up from here. Which is going to blow some uh, minds. So. Yeah, no, I know. But, but hey, yeah. listen, for you know, for investors or traders, it's awesome. Right. No, there's no doubt, man. Right, right. yeah. Wow. It's, it's, it's a good return. Right. And, you know, if you get through this uh, this trend line here, what you need, you know, that, that 4,100 4, area, let's call it where that trend line lies, yeah. you're going to need a sign of strength. Right. Well, that's still sitting in front of us. We're sitting right on that line right now. Right. Take. And so, in my opinion, you're going to see a sign of strength here probably in, in May because May starts next Monday, anyhow. Yeah. Or, and or you know what's so wild May. is that, of course, the, the saying, sell in May and go away, and this will be just the opposite. Right. Yeah, right. That, that, I yeah, can... so it might be good. So we may rally up to a high, and, and maybe we keep going. I don't know. Yeah. But right now, my intermediate term stuff, at least so far, there's no divergence present, and the uh, the VIX or the SPX, the VIX ratios made a higher high, suggesting the S and P will make a higher high, and so my opinion it should be long right here, um, and so that's a what seventy points, so that's a good what fifteen or twelve percent rally from here or something like that. Oh yeah, so, yeah, no, it's a big number, man. There's no doubt. There's no doubt. Yeah, it's a, it's a big number, so. It'll be interesting to see, you know, if that works out. But with, you know, with technical analysis, you know, sometimes you're getting, you're getting going down this road, and sometimes things change. 
So there's no guarantee we're going to get back to the old highs. But right now, it looks favorable. Uh, oh, listen, hey, you might, have, you might get me changing so. my head, man. I like it. <laughs> That's right. I yeah. like it. I like so, it. But, you know, tops are really hard to figure out. And this is what I've kind of been working on for the last couple of years. And I'm yes. starting to hone it down. And it, it, if you go back in time and use that method, I went back all the way to 2000. And it, it does a pretty well good job of uh, picking out highs along, you know, worthwhile highs. And right. Just near well, you know what's interesting highs. is that, you know, so. my, my take is that when this dollar gets weak, the market loves it. And the dollar's having a hard time holding price. And now, with that said, that's why I want to flip to the gold market because, you know, that that could, I mean, I was thinking the dollar was going to do a counter trend bounce to 106. But if the dollar gives it up and breaks this low, I can see the market going and gold going. So... I'm going to pull up this XAU chart. Is that cool? Yeah, we'll do that. But okay. it's, um, yeah, the XAU chart, but what, what the middle chart is, is the monthly silver-gold ratio. And I took it back as far as I could, which yes. is uh, about 1995. And this, this is a monthly chart. So these signals are not meant to be like one or two weeks long. These right. signals are, are, are big signals. Um, and I, I, and what, I have a three-part signal on this. The bottom window is percent volume. The next one up is the rate of change. And uh, one above the uh, monthly silver-gold ratio is the RSI. When two of those three get in bullish territory, I consider that a signal. Okay. So some some signals, all three of them got triggered. But you got to at least have two of them to get triggered. Yes. And the last one we had in uh, August of last year got triggered. So this signal right now uh, is, you know, close to nine months old, and it's still in force. But the previous signals, I, I measured the length of how much the, the rally lasted, I guess you might say. Well, the one in um, 2003, that was a 90% gain. The one in 2008, that was a 383% gain. The next one was 120% gain. The one uh, 100% gain. So anyhow, I said, well, yeah, those are good gains up at the top, about 100%. right? So if, if this signal is 100, percent then XAU should go to uh, to uh, around 200. I may do more, um, but probably not much less. Uh, so these signals last a while. So yeah, you know, the monthly signals on a buy signal since last August, and we're not near done with it yet. Yeah, and the XAU right now is a 134, folks. Well, listen, Tim, this is a pleasure, man. Look forward to speaking to you uh, next Thursday. And, folks, don't forget, you can uh, reach Tim at ord-oracle.com. And as I said, Tim's going to be doing a workshop for us in the near future. Tim, thanks so much. Have a great one, a safe one. All right, thank you. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. 
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow Industrials right now at 518, NASDAQ's up 285, S&Ps are up 77. And folks, if you haven't been in the Tiger's Den, come on over to the Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den, great community of tigers and tigresses. It's only a dollar a year, okay? Great ideas. But I got to tell you what was happening in the Tiger's Den when Tim was on, okay? So picture, you know, we got a lot of great tigers and tigresses in there. Um, bottom line, uh, you know, Tiger Dan, um, you know, has been saying, you know, for, for a bit, you know, it's going to be a turn and all this. Well, once Tim was on, you know, I, I'm turning around saying, hey, well, maybe we have something here. Well, the rest of the Tigers are saying, hey, maybe we'll, we'll go that way too, meaning be bullish. And of course, what ends up happening is that it's like we're all looking at the end and saying, oh, does that mean that it's a sell? Okay. That's that, you know what? That's the market, folks. That's the bottom line. That's what it comes down to. But um, if you, if you, you can listen to that interview again, because something that is important that he did say was that you're coming up to the line again. That's, that's the kicker. I mean, I know Tim well enough, you know, uh, how he looks at the market on a continual basis. So the line that we've all been looking at is still really important. That's, that's the bottom line. You know, if it doesn't take it out, guess what? You get a failure, you go on the other side. But, you know, he has some great tools. If you go through those charts again, um, you know, when you, when you combine those tools, it's pretty cool. The thing that I thought was surprising um, factually, that was it, but I, well, I thought that it was surprising that this, just yesterday, uh, coming down, he thought was the selling climax. Now, he did that because, let me show you this, he did that because he felt that this sign of strength that we did have in the SPY, that, w that was there, what is that, in March, um, you know, and that minus tick read he got was quite a bit. So, you know, that, and that's, I can tell you this, uh, a selling climax when you're only down two days, that's very unusual. But if that's the case, that's the case, you know. So we'll see how this shakes out. Um, but as you can see, um, um, bottom line, great, great analysis out here in, in a monster way. And it's going to be the dollar, folks. The dollar is the number. If we go over to this dollar again, take a look at this dollar. So, because you, so what's so intriguing is this, is that you, you've heard me a dozen times. Last time we did the counter trend bounce to the 106, you know, market pulls back. Market, the market itself, okay, cannot stand a, a higher dollar right now. Um, and it didn't hold price today. And you can see the relief it had. Now, that in the context of where the gold market is. See, the, the, the divergence out here today that I'm looking at is that the broad market got a hit, but gold didn't basically get, well, it didn't go down, but it didn't go up. So that's real, pretty unusual. What we have had the last three days, though, is that you are pushing higher and you actually have volume. So if we take a look at this, we have 196,000 contracts out here today. That's good contract volume. Yesterday we had uh, 200 and something, I think, 241. That's good contract volume. So this can be ready to go because on the larger basis, gold is still in a 
uh, ABC structure up. And now that would be in harmony, meaning that if the dollar croaks, what you can see is you can see higher prices in the gold market, you can see higher prices in the broad market. And if you remember, some of the biggest runs that we ever had was when that happened. And you know, people were getting confused in the aspect, well, how can gold run and the broad market run? Well, the biggest runs we have, that's exactly what did happen, folks. The, the differential was that the gold market actually ran percentage-wise bigger than the broad market, but they both ran together. And of course, the other side of that, and I'll show you that, is the other side of that is that this is when the dollar, pull it all the way back, go back. This is when the dollar gave it up in spades. You know, it just, just gave it up, period. I mean, you know, the bottom line, we went from the 120, you know, down to the 71. <laughs> yeah, I like that. And then, so then the, the next biggest run, we, we've had three or four, not bad runs, but one of the big runs that we did have, which was intriguing, was in 2011. That's when the dollar just went from, um, what is that? Kind of, it went from 88 back down to 72. You know, so if this dollar right now is gonna run down to the 89, it's gonna be a field day everywhere. So what, what ends up happening is with something like that, is that, yes, you, we, we are all gonna have higher prices, but inside the US dollar terms, okay, what ends up happening is that, you know, as the our US dollar, you'll be able to buy less. So what we have to do is go over to the Euro because, you know, someone was asking me about the Euro and I thought the Euro was gonna be pulling back. Um, now it hasn't done anything yet, but the fact of the matter is, if in fact that dollar is gonna go and fail, what you're gonna end up seeing is that the, the, the euro will go to the top of the range, you know? So there's, the, I thought one of the most intriguing things that we said, because on a contrarian level, you know, that if you get this rally and this rally comes in May, you know, I've, we've seen plenty of rallies in May. And so what ends up happening is that the go, uh, the sell in May and go away. Um, in fact, I think Steve Rhodes is gonna have the numbers on it. Uh, it's almost at the end of May. It's not at the beginning of May. I remember interviewing him a few years ago and he had, had the charts up uh, explaining that how that goes. So, hey, we'll see, we'll see where the whole baby shakes out. That's the bottom line. Volume-wise out here in the indices, excuse me, folks, today you get 501. That's shot volume inside the NYSE, inside the composite. The composite's at four. The composite will have some volume. So let me look at this again. So the composite yesterday, yeah, this is, to me, it's still tricky. It's tricky for sure. We did 5.5 .5 billion on the way down yesterday. It didn't hold price. And you, you're gonna do, you're gonna probably do about 5.5 .5 billion on the way up today too. Um, you know, let's go to the IWM and see what that's doing. So. It's not doing well. No, the, the IWM, the, see the IWM had a high volume low and this tested the highs of the lows at 170. And you are over the high of that bar, which is 172. And that's gonna be on light volume. So the IWM is saying it's, it wants to bounce. You know, that, that, this one's a clean one, right? When that may be a clean one is that you got a full test. You can see that test of the low. Yesterday we did, um, what is that, 30 million yesterday? We're doing 29 million today. You're going into the bar that had 47 million, you rejected the top of it. Now, when you do something like that, it says, okay, now you're gonna go to the top of the range. The IWM is 179. So, gotta love markets, man. I'm telling you. Dow, Dow Industrials right now up 527. NASDAQ's up 295. S&Ps are up 80. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.
Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now, 521 NASDAQ, except 290. S&Ps are up uh, 78. Let's get over to Amazon again because uh, bottom line, we'll see where this shakes out. But... As we bisected and dissected Amazon a little bit earlier, I mean, it looks like Amazon wants uh, juice and uh, it's an ABC structure up. So we'll see if that's what we're going to get after the close here. But it has the volume. You know, we're up 491. You had needed volume out here of uh, 69 million. You get 99 million. You're taking that baby out. You also get high volume up at the 114. So it looks to me like, uh, you know, whatever Amazon says into uh, the close that uh, it's going to be action. And, of course, what that will do um, is that it, and Amazon does come out after, like, split second. Amazon will come out split second. So what you will see is that the NDX, well, the Qs, okay, not, the, not the Qs, the NDX futures, but basically, I suspect, are going to also get some juice in them because... Amazon is a large weighting structure inside of the NDX 100. You know, you're already up uh, 345 ticks, but bottom line is that, you, well, you're very, let's go look at this for a second, because one second, NQ, because it just might be enough to push this to the high. Yeah, it is. It really is, because the high that we're talking here is only, uh, what's that, 246? Well, 
I really need new glasses here. 348. See, 348. I guess, no. It's not, it's not, it's not going to push it up 120. Well, it might push it up 120 points. Yeah, it could push it up 120 points. Amazon, Amazon could do that. That's, that's the bottom line. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Go get him, folks. <laughs>